All right, this is the architecture review challenge, and you can see this is the original challenge. I just duplicated it and went and figured out these things. That's what this is. And then now I'm in this one, which is also a duplicate of the original. I like keeping the original um, just so I don't, so I can always go revisit it. Also, I'm going to be putting the notes uh, written, which I'm following that I made while I figured it out <laughs> into the description of the video. Um, so let's start at the top uh, the measuring stick does not properly attach to your left hand I'm assuming that you've already tested the incorrect one or watched the video on the unity learn website so um, in order to fix that one under our XR rig on the left hand um, there are some sockets and the socket for the measuring stick here if we look at the attach point um, that position of 111 is why it's floating way off in space. So we're just going to set that position to 000, which puts it right on to the. You can see when I click on the socket and then click on the attach, they're in the same spot now. So that fixes that. Uh, the clipboard, very similar um, on the left hand. If we look at the clipboard and look at the attach, the, um, the Y rotation is wrong and we want to invert that so instead of 90 you make it a negative 90 and that fixes the clipboard now the house model snaps from way too far away so if we go to the um, the socket for the pedestal here's the pedestal uh, there's the socket you can see the radius on that is just absolutely huge and I found 0.7 eh, whatever you want it to be works pretty good um, and now everything also can snap in here. You can snap your ruler in there. You can snap your house onto your wrist if there's an available spot. And so to fix that, um, all we need to do is, regardless of what object we're on, we just need this little layer thing. We need to add some new layers. Um, and it kept mine from the last time, but I'm just going to go ahead and create them as though these don't exist. But um, So in an open area, I'm going to call this one Pedestal 2 because this is not the original and I'm just gonna cheat and copy and paste that just pretend these were never here okay two oh goodness two and two now that they exist we can go to for instance the um, the pedestal socket and it should not interact with everything if we set it to nothing and say it should only interact with my pedestal layer and then the sockets on my XR rig, uh, these two, this socket for the clipboard should only interact with, nothing, interact with clipboard layered things. And the measuring stick should only interact with the measuring stick uh, or ruler layered things. Oops, it's not my controller off. Um, and then we have to go to the actual objects themselves, which would be under dynamic. So here's the clipboard, and it's interacting with everything, uh, all these socket zones, for instance, um, and we don't want that. This is the clipboard, so we only want to interact with things on the clipboard layer, which is that socket we did earlier. The measuring stick also should only interact with things that match that layer. Oops, set it to nothing, then set it to ruler and the house where's the oh there it is house should only be interacting with the pedestal layer so we set all the th all three objects to that layer mask and all three sockets to that layer mask so now if we do a real quick test just to check all the things we've done find my controller i dropped Whoa. All right. So when I hold my hand normal like this, I can uh, put the clipboard in there, but I cannot put the ruler in there. Um, if I, oops, I was going to say if I move my house or something, I can't snap the clipboard in there, um, but the house does snap in there. So that works. That looks good. The layers. Um, everything's attached correctly. I really don't like my hand models. I'm actually going to change those. Um, 
which is way up here under the uh, left hand controller. If you look under here, the model prefab, um, if you remember, this isn't part of the challenge, but it just bothers me. Um, under prefabs, VR, hands, go back to my left hand and say blue hand left for the left, right hand would be blue hand right, so I can see which way my hands are facing. Not required, but just kind of nice. All right, so we set all the layers. Oh, the dining room table. This table is too tall. So in the hint, it says you could make a new ruler and set it to 0.74 and then just scale the table to that. That is one way, and you can do that. Um, I took a different route. Um, I don't know, just to be difficult, I guess. Um, and so if we know we want it to be, uh, the instructions say exactly 0.74 meters. I know that the legs plus the tabletop's height, which is 0.05, should add up to 0.74. So really the legs I could set at uh, 0.7395. And then holding control, there we snapped it right up into there. And then now we'll grab the whole table and put it back on the floor, right there. So now it's, uh, all together it should be 0.74 with that 0 0.05 plus the leg height of 0.7395. Eh, I think it works. Um, teleportation anchor. Oh, this thing has you, yeah, see, it's all kinds of backwards. Um, really, all you really need to do is, you have two options. One is you could take this anchor and you could rotate the uh, X180. Or just on the anchor itself, you could say world space up. Problem solved. Before when you teleported on there, you were upside down as Joy showed in the video. Um, all right. Uh, the bonus. The right hand uses all defaults. Yes, it does. Uh, not the left. Right hand. And easy way to fix that. If you scroll down and open up the XR Interactor line visual, you can change these colors. I'm just going to pick a couple colors. Um, this is how I do it. I just pick a color. I'm colorblind, so the colors really don't mean that much. Um, and I tear off this little tab to make the whole thing a solid color. You can make it a gradient if you want. And then same for this one. I just pick a new color. Boom, boom. Looks good. Tear the tab off. Solid color. Boom. New colors. Also, the... Um, uh, where is it? The Raycast... Uh, straight line. We can change that to Bezier curve. You can fiddle with that if you want. I don't plan to, uh, but that gives you a nice curve. I should probably save our work. Control S. So that fixes that. And finally, the ambient bird sound. So inside of, I'm just going to make an empty in the uh, dynamic. Yeah, let's go here. I'm going to create empty and call this speaker bird sounds and I don't really want it a child there we go so we're going to on this um, we're gonna add a audio source there we're gonna add we're gonna do go a little extra and do the uh, on timed interval and also the uh, play sounds from list sounds from list that I think are scripts they provided for us, which was really nice. Um, so if you only did one clip, you would put it in here, but we're going to use a list. So you actually don't have to put anything in there. You just have to set this to 3D to be the spatial blend. Um, you can play around with the min and max distance of roll off um, to your heart's content, but whatever. Um, the play sound from list. The list is empty. Yes, it is. So I'm going to hit plus three times. Hit the target. Grab bird one. Target bird two. Target bird three. Now, how often should they play? I'm going to say anywhere between three and six seconds. And then all you need to do is take this and... Oh, hold on. Hit plus on this on the on timed interval because now I can say from this play sounds from list and I just did a random clip 
So every three to six seconds, it's going to pick one of these three to play. So let's test all these things out. We'll check out our sounds and our Bezier curve, and we're not jumping upside down when we... Let's go right here. And... Yep. Oop. I don't know if you could hear that bird. I'll have to test that out. So you land facing right side up. The controller is not all the defaults. And I'm just putting the headset close to the microphone. There you go. So you can hear every three to six seconds. Uh, I hope it's grabbing random or it just keeps grabbing the same one. There's a different one. Okay, it is working. And there you go. There's the architecture review. Enjoy your day.